In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can put photos inside text. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Drool here and as you can see, this is the final output. Now to create this effect, first of all, go to file menu and create a new document. My size is 1920 by 1080, resolution 150, standard HD. So hit OK. Now the first thing you have to do is type in the text. So for that, select your type tool from here uh, and type in whatever you like. So I'm going to just simply type art uh, and then click on the layer to confirm it. Now we have to put it in exact center. So for that, first of all, press Ctrl A. So you will select your text layer. Uh, then select your move tool from here so you have these options so select second one and the second last one so it's in complete center now go to select and go to deselect now to do any change in the text uh, you can double click on your thumbnail here uh, and click on this little box so you have all the option but i think the default one looks really nice so i'm just gonna close it now we have to add in the image so for that go to file and go to place now find the image that you want, uh, so I'm gonna select it and place it. Then go and confirm it from here. Then make sure that your image is on top of your art layer, the text layer. Uh, then right click on your image and select create clipping mask. Uh, so your image is inside the text and to move it, make sure you have selected a move tool and you can move it around like this. But it's really big, so I'm gonna press Control T. Uh, hold my shift key and I'm gonna make it smaller uh, then I'm gonna move it back here until I get the type of look that I need so as you can see now this looks really nice then go and confirm it now the basic effect is done but it looks little bit boring so to make it better first of all uh, select your text layer this one right click and go to blending options and first thing I would like to do is drop shadow so text can separate from the background uh, and you can change the setting. I'm just going to increase the opacity a little bit. Uh, then uh, go and select your stroke. But in the stroke, make sure you use only one pixel. So it doesn't look distracting. Uh, and as you can see, it looks better. Uh, then go and hit OK. We can also make the background look nice. So for that, uh, double click and unlock it. Then again, right click and select blending option. In the blending option, I would go to gradient overlay uh, and in the style, I would change it to radial and reverse it. So black part is outside and make the scale 150 all the way. Now click on your gradient uh, and here in the gradient, uh, instead of black color, uh, go and turn it to darker gray. So that looks good. Then go and hit OK. Now instead of this white color, uh, go and change it to something uh, lighter gray, something like this. Uh, so now this looks even better uh, then go and hit ok ok and ok now to add the brush effect uh, select your act layer uh, this one then go and press ctrl j so we can have a copy then hide this one just for backup now in your uh, art copy this one right click and select rasterize type then uh, select your brush tool from here and in the brush, uh, I have download link for this brush, uh, so open them. Uh, then I'm gonna go and select first of all this one. Uh, and I'm gonna do a little click here, like this. Uh, and then I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller. And I would do another click here. Then let's change the brush. And I'm gonna do a little click here. So this way it looks really attractive. So now it looks really good and we can make the image a little bit brighter. So for that, go and create a new adjustment layer and select levels. But in the levels, turn on your clipping mask from here. So when we change it, it only changes the image. Uh, so I'm going to go and make it a little bit brighter. Now that looks good and close it. And now for overall change, uh, you can go to your adjustment layer and select curves. In the curves, first of all, make a dot here then increase the slider a little bit from here then go to your blue channel increase your blue a little bit from here and then go and increase your yellow a little bit from here and then go and close it and let's say if you want to use an image as a background you can go to file and place and find the image that you like i'm going to use the same image place it confirm it 
and then I'm gonna go and put this image under my text layer. So it's in background, then press Ctrl T, uh, make it bigger, uh, go and confirm it. After that, go and reduce the opacity to somewhere around 20-30%. And then uh, you can go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. Apply a little bit of blur, not too much uh, and hit OK. So this way you can also use an image as a background and it works pretty good. And that's it. <laughs> this is the final output. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did, hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, uh, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.